Yo, so uh, just the other day, they just dropped the Mayans sneak peek uh, for the upcoming season three. Now, here are my thoughts on it. Here's what, uh, again, I did a video of what I'm looking and expecting for this season. And to me, this is a make or break, break season. Because if it does well, we're going to get more seasons. That's just how it works. If it does well, more seasons. If it doesn't, look for Disney to like want to let it go. But I'm hoping I'm hoping everything... I think a lot of people are excited. I know a lot of the fan base is excited to... Uh, I think they really kept, caught on with Mayans. And it's not, it's not the most amazing show, but it's a really good show t uh, that you look forward to every week. Even though I have some... Uh, it has some gripes about it, and I think what I got from this teaser is, or the sneak peek, is a lot of the cast is saying this is going to blow your mind, uh, look for more backstories with the characters, with the Mayans, and that's what I want. That's how, what I've been bitching about these last two seasons, is there's not enough backstory, there's not enough for me to latch on to the other Mayans. No, I don't. I I like Coco. Uh, Ezekiel's good, but I don't think he's a lead man. Uh, I, I think I like Angel a little bit more. Honestly, he seems a little bit more of a somebody I could really kind of relate to. But I mean, who's Hank? Who's Creeper? Who's Taza? I think Taza was the one that had the most kind of spotlight out of the other Mayans last season because who is he? Kills Riz, right? He kills Riz. And, like, I'm just, I need to know more of the other Mayans. You know, I want more Hank. I, I like Hank. I I like him, but I don't know too much about this guy, really. I want more. This needs to be spread. We need to know these Mayans so we feel something if something happens to them. Last season, okay, Riz dies. We didn't even really see him. It was a waste of talent, honestly. When the cast tells me in this teaser that... There's going to be more backstory. I want more backstory. But I've been told. This is. Listen guys. This is not the first time. Cast members. Directors. Uh, whoever. Has said something. And said this is going to be mind blowing. And it's mediocre. Or it's a disappointment. Going forward. I hope they take the heart. Like what a lot of people were complaining about. With Mayans. And what made Sons of Anarchy so good. Was because we knew every character in that in the uh in sam pro right we we really invested in all the characters even the littlest i mean even the little screen time characters we invested in in them we knew about them we knew what their likes their dislikes uh, uh tragedies they had like we knew them so with mayans that's the problem is the heart you have half a heart of a show when you need the other heart to come in to really get us invested i need to love you I need to love you, you know? You also have the wars that's brewing with the Vatos, Pipeline with Bishop, um, you, you know, the gun trade, uh, SOA is involved, and we thought there was a somebody lying on the ground either dead or hurt. We thought it was Montez, and Montez, you know, there's a lot of speculation, like maybe he was just hurt and, uh, um, you know, the Mayans have him, something like that. Something's going, going to go down, but you don't only have that. You also have the storyline with Galindo, uh, his mom uh, being taken out by Ezekiel, who and Dita is the one that, you know, laid the hit. Uh, you, you have Angel and the baby. Like, there's so many storylines out there. So many. But what's really intriguing going into season three is the storyline of Taza and Riz and that situation where, you know, Taza killed Riz in order for this vote to happen where or in order for a bishop to really be pissed off and go all in on this war. Right. So that's what I'm looking for. If you're going to introduce a lot because we don't know too much. Uh, Taza says one thing, but then he gets spooked by looking in the picture when he when they invade, you know, the Vatos and they go they go after him. So th it's 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 a it's a. um it's a crazy situation, but that's the one thing I'm actually really looking forward to. Now, that's how you could actually incorporate with a lot of these guys, because uh, Creeper's already suspicious of Taza, so you could incorporate, like, know a little bit more about Creeper. Uh, Hank, you know, he's a sergeant of arms, so, I mean, he he's going to be 
have his eye on. He's gonna find something. He's he's not he's a smart cookie that that Hank. You know he's gonna see that something's off with Taza. And then of course Bishop Bishop has all this pressure on his shoulders. Like if he finds out that this is that's what what happened. He's going to, it's drama central. It's going to be insane. You're going to have an inner conflict with the Mayans club, you know? So I'm looking forward to that aspect. And then you can really present that and you can really get to know more of the backstory with uh, all the Mayans. And you can also progress more of the backstory of Coco, uh, Ezekiel, especially now that he's patched, he's not a prospect no more. But I am intrigued with the, because Galindo is Felipe's son, right? <laughs> That's a crazy ass twist right there. The one things I didn't really like was a lot of uh spotlight on Emily, which I think there needs to be more spotlight of Adelita going into season 3 because I think Adelita if she, if the actress is saying that Adelita is looking for it's going to take some people down, I want to see that character take some people down. I want to see Bodies hit the floor this season, but if the bodies are going to hit the floor, you need to flesh out some of these characters if you're going to knock them off. Because the past two seasons, I haven't gotten enough uh, fleshed out characters for me to really care coming into season three if they die right away. You could take your time. I think this, I believe this is 10 episodes. You you have enough time to flesh out some of the people you are going to uh, off just you know, get rid of. I mean, the whole Potter thing too. Like Potter is, I could see him fucking biting the dust in season three. So that could very well happen. Marcus Alvarez is no secret. My favorite character uh, with the Mayans. I actually believed he should have been the lead character, but it is what it is. So I, I mean, it's so funny seeing him in a suit, but this dude is I, I feel like he gotten a little soft, but I think season three is going to really show... This is the guy who killed his own son. All right? Mijo, you want a churro? You see it in the, the teaser trailer, the trailer. Like, some shit's about to go down. Him and Bishop come to odds. This is a well, well-respected man. And if you cross him or he sees something's happening, he's warned Ezekiel. He knows what's going down. You know he's part of, uh, now he's with Galindo. So that's why, uh, Miguel's probably going to find out all this shit that's happening. The question is though, what is Miguel going to do when he finds out that he is probably Felipe's son? He's going to go bonkers. Um, like I said, Emily, like, uh, I, I, you know, no, no disrespect to the actress. Uh, I just don't care, you know, I don't want, I want to focus on, I mean, we go into the cartel stuff, but the cartels is not the most interesting part, the most interesting part is the Mayans themselves, so when the cast is telling me that the we're going to get more of the Mayans, the core group that we should have got from the get-go and learned more about and really kind of followed them, I, I expect that in season three. I want that in season three. Um, of course, you know, you're going to have twist turns. You're still going to need to get rid of these plot, like these uh, loose ends, so to speak. I mean, all these plots that you put in in season two. I mean, we want to know what's going on with Angel's baby. Uh, we want to know how Adelita's going to, uh, she's probably going to escape or maybe she doesn't. We want to know, now Felipe uh, has to have the burden of knowing that uh, Dita was <laughs> was uh she uh her, his sons got their revenge so what's and then knowing that you know miguel is his son like what's that gonna happen there's a lot going on going into season three uh but i think the main core should be the war aspects i mean i think the vatos the main guy who uh was uh, who's the leader in Va the vatos game the actor he looks like a real son of a bitch <laughs> you know i really dig that villain and i really like the aspect of the Mayans, man, they're not only going to war with these guys, but because they're going to war with these guys and because they're fucking up the business side of it, you got sons going after them. You got inner conflict with the different charters. So that's some crazy shit. That's 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 some good drama kind of shit that we like to see. You know, a, a civil war. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me a civil war. Give me that. Give me that. It doesn't have to. Don't give me this. Cre don't try to throw so much shit into a season. Just give me a simple war aspect because I want to see Narcos type shit. The show Narcos. Elgin James, this is his baby now. 
he he's he this is he's the showrunner and i i believe in elgin james he seems like a cool cat you know uh and kurt sutter believed in him a lot i think kurt sutter uh you know it's a shame that he's still not in in this project but then again that's i i'm glad he's not because i feel like he would care he's he was kind of in it. He had his right foot in it, but he wasn't fully invested in it. I feel like he would be more fully invested in First Nine, a spinoff or a sequel to Sons of Anarchy. But when it came, and he said it himself, you know, he he, he found he stepped he stepped back, but he was still really hands on. If you see a lot of the behind the scenes of season one, so Elgin James, this is his this is his, and I think Elgin James needs to come in. And this guy. You know, he has good ideas, but he really needs to hit a home run this season. And I think he just needs to stay, take a step back and say, listen, let's get these uh, loose ends that we had in season two. Uh, some of them we could really uh, dive into, but some of them we could kind of, you know, wrap it up and let's get involved with really this let's get to know this crew and how they face adversity i think mayan season three i think the sneak peek and i think the trailer has gotten me excited uh, i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping for rich great storytelling but simple storytelling i really just want to know more of the characters i really want to see these characters really shine and when it comes to and i want to see bodies hit the floor so when it comes to bodies hitting the floor i want to see maybe past characters that got introduced like potter being taken out uh i want to see what like um felipe who's been around since season one you know maybe he gets taken out hell maybe miguel gets taken out i don't know i want to see that you know i know they're blossoming the ezekiel romance too uh with uh gabby so that's going to that's going to be an interesting factor to see how much chemistry they have with each other in this season and let's see what kind of I feel like she's going to die honestly in this season. I feel like she's going to die. So I'll be doing a review slash spoiler discussion. Make sure to you're subscribed, make sure you actually push the bell icon cuz that really does notify you and like the video cuz I get a little bit more traction and we continue this thing uh called Mayans. So I'm very excited. I did like the sneak peek. I thought I'd give a little, little bit of insight on there. Um, it's very interesting on the Coco situation. <laughs> Honestly, I'm very very interested in what's going on with Coco. So uh, especially since he's like what partially blind now. So thank you guys on Dan and Daniel's son. And I'll see you guys for that premiere. Bye bye.